Hello everybody, my name is Merc, and I thought, let's check out Cloudberry Kingdom. Now, what's Cloudberry Kingdom? Well, I think this is the Cloudberry Kingdom right here. You play as that caped stick man, and you're basically just trying to get to the end of the level, like Super Meat Boy, or Super Mario. I think they wanted to go with a more of a Super Mario here, but Super Meat Boy you can't really ignore anymore. And it is a precision platformer and uh, kind of similar controls, no wall jumping though of course. So this is developed by Pony Studios um, and they actually developed an algorithm to make the levels as hard or as easy as you want. Now they put most of their money I'm assuming into making that algorithm and they just need a couple thousand more so they are promoting this I guess through Kickstarter and they need twenty thousand dollars to put in some final art assets and a couple more things I'm sure making the game a little more stable and whatnot and a PC version as you will see because this is uh, kind of, I'm not going to say an Xbox, ugh, Xbox 360 port, but there's not not many options here. And uh, when you go to controls, they will also show you the 360 controller because they want to put it on the 360, which is a good idea. But uh, they are going to have like total PC support, which is good as well. And I'm actually using the keyboard right now. Now, I think my name is Peristaltic Pump. <laughs> Never even heard of that word, Peristaltic. I'm not quite sure if you can customize that at all, but I know you can customize your character, so let's start off with the headless guy here. And let's make my skin see-through. Yeah. And see-through cape. Oh, tiger cape. Whoa. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Well, actually. No, let's go headless. Headless is cool. Okay. So now I do your little flip. Yeah. Headless guy. So. As you can see here, the campaign mode is not implemented yet. I'm, sh I'm sure this is not going to be random level generated. They are going to make the levels for you, and I'm not quite sure how hard it'll be um, at all. Because, you know, I don't know if they want to make it accessible to everyone or what they're going to do there. I know there's going to be, in these two modes, it's definitely going to be a lot harder. And then there's also a shop which you can get some hats, which you know is very important these days. Every video game needs hats, and you get, you use them with the, you buy them with the, gems here and I think you have everything unlocked in this mode for now but yeah so and there's also awardments which I give you some more hats which are just achievements but it's a better word because achievements leave a bad taste in your mouth awardments I feel awarded with an awardment <laughs> so there's a couple different game modes here in the arcade which are this is the randomly generated section basically and free play as well I guess I can can't say that um, so I'm gonna play uh, Escalation here. Now, Escalation and Time Crisis are pretty much the same, except Escalation has lives, while Time Crisis has time, obviously. you There's a time, timer ticking down. And I think I'm going to play Escalation because I feel I should go a bit slower and talk about it a bit more. Now, I start off with 12 lives, and every 25 gems I collect, I will get an extra life. And now, I'm sure you saw that princess there. <laughs> Which is weird because it shows those Cloudberry guys and you're a stick man and then you get like a Mario type princess there. So, as you can see, these levels are definitely not... I wouldn't call them easy from the start, but I did choose level 50 from the start because if I chose level 1, I'd probably be playing for 15 minutes before I'd consistently die. I'm not saying I'm like good or anything, I'm only level 50, so don't put words in my mouth, but I did come from Super Meat Boy. I'm almost 100% on Super Meat Boy. Um, with the gamepad, I'm actually using the keyboard right now because uh, there's no run type button like Super Meat Boy so my pinky won't get tired after like 20 levels or so <laughs> and then I'll be like, ah, I need my gamepad but I feel gamepad's a bit better for Super Meat Boy anyway and this it doesn't really matter because the only difference in how you control is how high you jump and basically that depends on how long you hold jump like Super Meat Boy and Mario which is good Oh god, oh god! This level is not easy. And it's funny because there's only like three different types of challenges. So, like blocks and with spikes on them, so that's two challenges. And then freaking cloud guys with saws? What the hell are those? I shouldn't question anything in this game. This game is pretty bizarre. So, hopefully, we won't just keep dying on this level. Let's do this. It's not that easy to talk and play this game at the same time with the keyboard. Maybe I should switch it up to the gamepad in a sec, but I think I did that alright, so let's keep going, level 55. And every time you see those guys pop up at the bottom, that means I got an extra life. Now, I think those guys are kind of a little obs obstructive 
for the, I guess. I was gonna say for lack of a better word, but it, I guess it fits because there has been times where I jumped down there and those guys would pop up and I'm like, oh, where'd my platform go? And it's like, oh, I almost just died because you bastards. But yeah, I'm not quite sure what art is staying in the game because, like I said, uh, the, the ki using the Kickstarter money to get more art. And I also can't believe I just died right there because that was pretty sad. And I'm not quite sure what they're going in. I'm pretty sure those Cloudberry guys are staying in, which I like them. They're a nice little design. It makes it seem like a happy-go-lucky game when the fact is it's trying to kill you over and over and over and over and over and over. Which is not a bad thing at all. So I'm doing pretty good. Hold on, where am I? Oh, I didn't see that ghost guy. It's like, I'm going to jump on this guy instead. And I did. So, like, you don't need to, obviously. It's The levels aren't made, so you have to do every single um, challenge. Like, if there's a bunch of green guys. I'm sure you will have to on some levels, but... Um, it's kind of like you have a little bit more freedom in what you do. You don't have to keep holding right in order to progress through the level, which I probably should do at that moment right there. Because for some reason I'm not. For some reason I feel like I should slow down. Okay. Don't slow, don't slow. So, uh, in, in con contrary to what I just said, okay, there we go. If you keep holding right, you win, but it's not true at all. Like, you do need to press back every so once in a while to uh, time yourselves for the next jump or so. Like that. So, four lives left. Oh my god, that was dumb. I gotta remember when to hold right. Just, I'm not concentrating. I'm concentrating on my commentary, which isn't good for games like this. But, you know, it's good, because it shows you how hard the game can actually be to, um, I don't know, a normal person. I would just call myself normal, I'm not like a game god or anything, as much as I like to think. But I do stupid mistakes like that, even though I already know how to beat that part. Like, come on. Okay, let's do this, let's do this. Okay, that part ain't slow. Okay, let's do this, let's do this. Last life. Slow down, slow down. Slow down. Okay, cool. I did it. I did it. One last level. Come on, get... Oh, my God. I thought he just died right there. I was like, get next to... Oh, life. Well, pretty sure this is my last life, unless I beat this level miraculously. Doesn't seem like I will... Oh, my God. I did it. I'm the best. I, I mean, I'm average, as I was just saying earlier. No, I'm the best. You guys know it. Okay, come on. Now, now they're just throwing little easy ones. Like, here, get some lives back. We know you suck. Oh my god, see? See, that sucked. That sucked. That's a perfect explanation of why I did not, do not like those little guys at the bottom. And I hope that the uh, developers see this and they're think about that. But other than that, this uh, everything's like really good with this game. Like, I don't have a problem with it at all besides that little bit. And uh, let's go to Hero Rush now. Now, Hero Rush is basically, they throw different characteristics of your hero at you. So, Revenge of the Double Jump. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'll start off with Double Jump. No, I won't. So, basically, some, like like I just said, a hero will have Double Jump or you have something else. Like this one, I'll be in a cardboard box, a jetpack, and I'll be bigger. So, mm -hmm. I'm bigger, mm -hmm. cardboard box, and jetpack. So, cardboard box makes it so you cannot move left or right on your own. You have to, you have to jump. And it also adds a lot of problems when you're big as well because you have lower gravity so this one's okay now this time I'm changing size and I also ran out of, almost ran out of time there so every gem I get adds a second so they're kind of imperative to collect as you go because if you keep beating levels they will not just let you keep going so this wheel is also a pain in the ass because it uh, makes it so you can't go backwards as much and this guy is the double jump with his balls because <laughs> I have no head so all he is is a bunch of balls so I'm now I'm tiny with jetpack again. Oh shit. Now the music in this game I actually kind of like. It's like a drum and bass most of the time. Like it's fast paced and it's what it needs to be for a game like this. But this this song in particular, they're talking about Japan or nuclear war. I'm not quite sure what that has to do with Cloudberry Kingdom. But yeah, that's a small gripe as well. The rest of the songs are very good. And uh yeah, so then there's also a hero factory here, so you can make yourself this guy so he's always constantly jumping give him a jetpack as well why the hell not make him tiny now I'm not gonna show you unfortunately how this works because oh this is a little problem as well with the keyboard if you press left or right it only goes to the end and you need to use a controller which is on my lap to go left or right um, there's also some more options here but like I said with the keyboard you can only go to left or right 
but that's not a problem. Now, as I was saying before, I cannot show you me testing out this, because last time I tried while I was recording, it actually crashed my game, and now when I tried when I wasn't recording, it didn't, so whatever, it's a small little gripe, I won't be able to show you. And then I'll, I'll just show you free play, and then I'll finish this up. So basically, there's a bunch of different backgrounds, I'm not quite sure if all of them work, I don't think if uh, rain works, let's try darkness though, I've never seen that before. And then uh, there's also normal mode, up level, down level, wall level, which is like a wall is chasing you, you have to try to beat it faster than the wall, obviously and a build mode, and I'll just show you a wall level first, why not? And give myself double jump. And difficulty, unpleasant. Oh, custom. So, let's uh, do that. Yes, custom. Okay, so, jump difficulty. I like I like hard jumps. Level speed, okay, uh, since there's a wall chasing me, I don't want it to be too fast. Ceilings, yes, some ceilings is okay. Moving blocks, yeah, those aren't too dickish to me most of the time. Ghost blocks, okay, why not? Flying blobs, let's add a couple of these guys. These guys are cool, you jump on them, they give you a jump. Falling blocks, they do just as I say. Fall <laughs> when you jump on them. They're okay. Elevators, eh, no problem. Or clouds, I hate. I'll have to show you some clouds. And I didn't mean to start, but why not? Oh my god, it is dark. Cool. Oh. Wow. Oh, well, that was the exit. That was a fun little level, and there was a wall chasing me as you just saw. Let's edit those settings again. And the cloud, as I was mentioning, you have to like jump at the tip of the cloud. If you jump, if you hold jump while you're in the middle of it, you'll just like fall out, basically. Let's uh, fire spinners. Yeah, let's add a couple of those spiky guys. That's a creative name, very creative name. Now I don't know what these pinkies do, but we need a lot of pinkies. They're probably gonna kill me. Lasers are okay. Let's just throw in a little bit of everything, except for elevators. I don't like elevators. They're just kind of meh. Let's make it a little bit longer. And let's. Oh, I can't add a checkpoint. Okay, fine. Don't add a checkpoint. Game. Oh my god, okay. Okay, this was not a good idea. Why did I do this to myself? Seriously, what the hell am I doing? Seriously. Oh my god. Good thing there's unlimited lives, because like... Okay, so... Oh! That wall, it gets speed. cloud right there. Maybe I should turn off darkness, but then I probably have a different level. Let's try this a couple more times, just to give you an idea. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you have an idea of how hard this is, I'm just being, uh, <sighs> yeah, no. Um, exit level here, oops, yes. So let's, uh, turn off darkness, let's go rain yeah and there's no rain mm -hmm. hmm. that's odd I'm sure they know about that though if they're gonna say there's a rain level and then lie to us you liars there's no rain level mm -hmm. that was not so bad <laughs> all I needed was some light Alan Wake style okay so yeah, this is a. Uh, I like this game. It has. It, it does what it says. The controls are smooth. There's no problems with it. There's a bunch of different mechanics. There's nice randomosity. Music's good, and uh, you can pick it up for. Well, right now it's on Kickstarter. Fifteen dollars. It'll give you the beta that they just released a couple days ago. And uh, yeah, on it's. I don't know how the Kickstarter is only gonna be out for another couple more days. So I'm gonna try to get this video up as fast as possible. But since this is the beginning of my channel, no one's gonna see it. So, woo, awesome me. So anyway. I hope you guys uh, like this video, and if you like uh, if you like this game, check it out yourself. I'll put a link to the description on the of the developer's webpage below. And that's my friend Nick. So I'll see you guys next time.